Well, I decided to apply to be the president of the Junior League of Oklahoma City, just so my name would be part of the conversation. Uh, as women, we are often taught not to put our name out there, that we're supposed to wait for the opportunities to come to us. And I just decided that it was really something I wanted to do. And I thought if I don't put myself out there, who knows if anyone else will put my name out there. So I just went for it. I love this organization and I love our mission. And I, I wanna, I'd love to lead this amazing group of women. So that's why I applied. I wanted to be junior league president because I wanted to be more involved and I wanted to have a front row seat to experience all the amazing things our junior league members can do together because together we are unstoppable. My favorite part about being the junior league president was getting to work with and learn about so many different leaders. The board of directors that we worked with was so diverse that I learned more from them than I think they ever learned from me. I loved telling our story to Oklahoma City because in a lot of ways, I think the Junior League is Oklahoma City's best kept secret. A lot of people know about us, but then there's a whole bunch of people that don't. And I loved being able to share our story to those people. If I hadn't been president, there are a ton of young women that I would have never met in the league. The one thing I learned from being president of JLFC is there's so many different leadership styles and ways of getting something done. There's not just one way that's the right way. It's a fantastic honor, humbling honor, to be chosen as president because you look at the women who have come before you and all the amazing things that they accomplished and all the amazing things that have gone on and you think there's no way I can contribute to that. And so it's so humbling to be considered part of that group. That's probably the biggest honor, you know, in Oklahoma City that I've ever had. I mean, it was nice to have that trust and, and support from all of my peers. We are taught how meetings should run, how organizations should function, how you can be fiscally responsible, and how to make an impact on your community. So, absolutely, is it worth it? Absolutely. There's really nothing like that, that you can like go through an organization, learn so much, gather so many friends, and come out of it like feeling like, okay, well I can handle almost anything out in the community because I've had the training and if I need help, I know who to call because I have all, all my friends. <laughs> it was one of the most enriching experiences of my life. It's a big responsibility and it was one of the most fun things I've ever done. This is a job that requires passion and problem solving and compassion and so anybody that's feeling you know that way about junior league I would encourage them to apply it is stretching you will grow but the bottom line is man the fabulous memories I have I'm Gail Sempner and I was president of the junior league of Oklahoma City from 1991 to 1992 I'm Christy Rieger and I was the president of the Oklahoma City Junior League in 2011-2012. My name is Kristen Brown and I was president 2013-2014. My name is Christy Leonard. I was JLOC president 2014-2015. I'm Tracy Frederick. I was the president of the Junior League of Oklahoma City in 2017-2018. I'm Pam Campbell and I was the 2018-2019 president of the Junior League of Oklahoma City. I'm Leslie Cole Mossman, and I am the 2020-2021 Junior League of Oklahoma City President. It was my honor. It was my honor. It was my honor to serve the Junior League of Oklahoma City. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you next? <laughs>